literally Heading fog with the fog dog Straight to the top with the pace drop Pace too hot, you can't keep up When he heats up and takes the lead And all you see is Drake University So it's time to subscribe for the best alive And go stride for stride with the Batman pride It's Heading Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive It's Heading Fog exclusive So 20 minute jog around the park and come back into the track. What is the plan now? Yep, a uh, nice little jog out there. Um, Pre-meet always kind of varies between a little mini jog, like literally two or three or four minutes, kind of half a mile. Um, a few drills and then 20 to 30 minutes, kind of just depending on how you're feeling. Today I just did an extra 20 uh, just around the park. Putting the spikes on now. Um, and then I'll probably just do four or five by a hundred. Um, I said this before Drake Relays um, and I kind of did the same thing before the New York 1500. We used to always do like 200 meter strides, but that was all kind of mental. And maybe maybe it does benefit a little bit, but I don't really see the need for it anymore. So um, just doing four or five by 100, I think is all I need. Kind of turn the legs over, put the spikes on and feel good. Um, before New York, we didn't even get on the track. I didn't put spikes on. I just did five by 15 seconds. So, um, that's the plan now. Uh, not racing on this track tomorrow. We're at Trafford. Um, Old Trafford, Manchester United, just somewhere about a mile that way. It's a pretty famous spot. Don't think the track's that famous, but um, yeah, racing at so right now we're at Manchester United basically and tomorrow we're racing at Man City. So it's kind of the, the local derby. Um, but yeah, should be good. A few strides and then get ready to race the mile tomorrow. So here we go with the Enzo Carmile. I think we've got eight to nine athletes who've done sub four minutes in the past. That's always the minimum target. So into the home straight. Back to Luke Shaw. 
McDonald's actually post Emsley Car Mile uh, had a large McChicken meal with nine nuggets as well has to be done that was a really really good race as good as it could have possibly been earlier on today I, I knew that winning would be a possibility but I knew that I had to kind of have everything go right and warming up I knew that it was going to be quite a solid race good field for it um and i knew the pace was going to be pretty honest from the start and i wanted to get myself in a pretty good spot um and i i got myself in a decent spot early which was which was good and it strung out nicely so i didn't have to worry about you know kind of jostling and getting clipped and uh kind of people you know push pushing and shoving basically so i was in a good spot and 600 in i kind of felt that we were we were dropping off the pace a little bit um, and I just kind of, it was a bit of a split second decision, 600 in, which is a lot earlier than I planned on doing it, but I moved in front of the guy who was leading the race. The pacemaker was still in there, but I kind of just thought I'm going to move around and work my way up towards the pacemaker. Kind of tucked back in behind him, but only for 200 and then literally uh, coming up to 800, 700 in, he started moving out wide and I knew that I was going to kind of have a long solo grind for the last couple of laps but um yeah it really worked out as well as it could have done um with with 400 to go i think i was 258 at the bell um and i was feeling pretty tired and i also i hadn't checked behind me and there was no big screen or anything so i i thought that i had a few people right behind me um and down the back straight i still thought that so i was kind of i was running pretty hard at the bell i kind of like kicked a little bit uh and i thought down the back straight there were going to be pe people really trying to you know trying to make a push to come around me and um it was only it was literally with 150 left um because of the way the sun was going down our shadows were really long around the final bend um and so i saw my shadow and saw that there were no other shadows around and kind of thought well maybe i am gonna be all right here um but i i knew someone could be coming still so i really worked hard around that final bend and um all the way down the home straight and yeah ended up getting the win so really happy with that um the emsley car mile has a lot of history there's been some really really good guys who have won it my manager james templeton he was saying uh his guy bernard legat uh has won it el garouge has won it i think uh seb co uh steve ovet steve cram like They've all won it in the past. Um, so in good company, obviously the field was nowhere near as strong as it has been in the past today, but um, it's still a race that, you know, is a really, really good one to win. And I won't take that for granted. I think that's probably the biggest win I've ever had. So 
Happy with that, new PB in the mile, uh, racing a 3K in a week from right now. So I've had my McDonald's and now I'll try and get to bed. It's 10.50, so I'll probably struggle to sleep, but I'll give it my best shot. Uh, and yeah, on to the next one. So thanks for watching. Uh, a good day in the office. Uh, they're not always good and, you know, I was kind of chatting to a few people at the meet and some people have good days and some people have bad days and... Um, it's all highs and lows in this sport and you take take the good days, take the bad days and you just, you know, put it behind you basically and you move on to the next because I've still got six weeks until British Champs. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the next one, 3K in a week. <laughs>